Prager DX land, you copy 612 around the west coast of Canada. Hey DX land, 612 on the west coast of Canada. How about a DX land? How about a skip land, 612 on the west coast, reading the mail. Sounding good there, Volunteer State. You're uh, making a good trip up here to the southwest coast of British Columbia. This is 612. Copy that, 612. Got to love when conditions are right, eh? Just perfect propagation right now. I'm uh, out here in the southern Gulf Islands, so... Uh, I guess that the crow flies just about a hundred miles north of Seattle, Roger. Oh, that's for sure. Yep, a lot of mountains, a lot of hills. Yeah, we're out here on the southern Gulf Islands, so uh, just uh, same archipelago as Washington State, San Juan Islands, but we're off the coast of Southwest British Columbia. Yeah, same with you. Uh, what are you running down there for equipment? Your antenna is doing a good job for you. Beautiful, man. Sounds good. I'm running an RCI 2970 DX right now. Handheld D104, I got it turned down. And uh, Antron 99. I actually, I actually also have a 2980 right beside me. I have an RCI. Uh, 2980 WX. Good radios. I love the RCIs. Yeah, they're hard to beat. I don't think I can replace this with anything and be satisfied with it. Sure don't. I'll tell you what, I've ran the same antenna you have, but I'll tell you, I have, have got a stereo 827. It's got eight radios at the bottom and it's seven foot tall. It's about to beat anything I've had for, for uh, basic uh, ground planes. <laughs> yeah, right on. I hear Alabama in there now trying to get Yeah, no, you got a really good setup there, and you do sound like a local up here. Uh, my other antenna I got hooked up as an IMAX 2000 uh, to the RCI 2980WX, but I really enjoy these radios, and uh, they're well built radios. And I've never had a problem with this one here, this uh, old uh, RCI 2970DX. It still, still seems to be working good. Uh, I've had this one for maybe just about, about 10 years now. Oh, it's perfect, man. Well, it's really working for you. It's really nice on the AM conditions right now. I mean, you're the only station I hear in there. I do, I do hear an Alabama station. I do hear you, my friend. So stand down, and we'll get back to you for sure. But uh, yeah, you're doing a beautiful job for you this morning. It's uh, it's still early morning here. It's about nine uh, fifty, nine fifty five, nine fifty four a.m. Well, I do appreciate it. Anyway, I'll give you my name. Uh, my name is Joe Juliet Oscar Echo, and uh, yeah, we are located on this in the Southern Gulf Islands here. So it's uh, really a pleasure to talk with you. Hey, we're right on there, Steve. Hey, what part of Tennessee are you in? I, I have to ask you that. What's your What's your QTH in Tennessee? I am right at the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. I'm uh, uh, halfway between 
Uh, I know exactly where that is. Well, you're sounding good, my friend, and it's been a pleasure. And we're going to be listening for you again on the frequency. So 73s to you and yours, and you guys have a great Christmas out that way because coming up in another 24, what is it, 19 more days. 19 more days will be Christmas. So take care out there, and happy DXing. Okay, Joe, I appreciate it, and I hope you and yours have a, have a good Christmas also. And I hope everybody's well. Look out for you later and enjoy it. Take care, my friend. 73's to you. 612, West Coast of Canada. We're on the side. Uh, yep, 57. You're making a trip up here to British Columbia. Take care there, southeast corner, Alabama. Sounding good up here, my friend. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I uh, do appreciate the comeback. 612 on the West Coast, Southern Gulf Islands. We'll be uh, reading the mail. Yeah, well, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Cheers. Hey, Joe. Yeah, lots of DX coming in. Yeah, I kind of just started up there, what, the last half hour or something? <laughs> it was nice because I got in here and I could only hear people talking on Channel 2, so I went down below Channel 1 and I just called and some guy, like I said, it's like fishing. And then some guy from, a couple of guys came back to me from Kentucky. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. These guys, I could actually hear them without a bunch of, without a bunch of mess in there. Yeah, Roger. You sound like you got a cold. No, thank God. A uh, little bit of stuff he knows, but I don't have a cold. But uh, you know what? We got snow out here. Yeah, Roger. A couple inches over here. Yeah, we had about an inch, and it's like, when I got up this morning, it was actually already raining out. It's pouring down with rain here. I can see it falling off the trees. Right now it is falling off all the trees, but it's just yucky, wet, sloppy snow. Yeah, you got her yucky. I haven't heard you on there for a few days. I thought it maybe you took off on a, a short holiday or something. Uh, or you're busy too, though. Now that you're uh, retired. <laughs> yeah, I was actually on the mainland. We went over to uh, Langley and Fort Langley and Tawasson and this and that. We went out visiting, yeah. Yeah, it's good, and I'm glad there's some DX coming in here, because you know what, it's the kind of day I want to just sit in the house. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here myself. I uh, got tired of shifting gears, so I sold that truck, and I got a fuel pump coming for my little car on Thursday. So hopefully I throw that in, cross my fingers, it flashes up, and I'm good to go. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this stuff's going to be gone quick, and I'm pretty sure it's all off the roads here. The plow went by this morning, and like I say, it is pouring down with rain, so it ain't going to last long. All right, take care, Bob. Have a good one. I was good to hear you in there. We'll uh, we'll talk with you again. Cheers to you.